Jumpstart friends, it's Miss Sophia and today we are going to be learning about party invitations. Just like the one that Peter made when he wrote his letter to Amy to invite her to his birthday party. So friends, I remember that he wrote, will you please come to my birthday party, Peter? It is this Saturday at 2. So friends, we can see that he is here writing his invitation. So friends, we are going to talk about different types of invitations today. And an invitation is just a special kind of card or a letter that is used to let people know that you are having a party and or any special event and that you want them to attend or you want them to go. So friends, I wrote a special invitation to you guys and I wrote that it is to my Jumpstart friends. What is it? It's a jumpstart party, of course. What time is it at? It's at 2 o'clock. The date is going to be December 10th or 1210. And December is just the 12th month of the year. The place is going to be community concern. So friends, invitations have a who is it to? It has the occasion or the what is it? It has the time. It has the date and it has the place. So friends, these are all different things that are on invitations. So friends, I'm gonna show you some more invitations that look a little bit different than this invitation and that might look a little bit different than Peter's invitation. So this invitation is just on a sheet of paper and I wrote everything out. And that's exactly what Peter did too. I know we can't really see what he is doing, but you can kind of see that he is just writing it on a piece of paper. So friends, Peter used a very special sheet of paper to write to his friend Amy, but some invitations are actually called commercial invitations and they have a lot of decoration on them. They are ones that you can buy at a store and you can just fill in your information. So you can fill in what time it is, where it's going to be, what the date it is, the place, the occasion, all that good stuff, you can just fill right in. So I'm gonna put in a little or a few different ones that you might have seen, or maybe you can copy if you decide you want to write a invitation. So we have one that says for the date, time, place, and RSVP, which means when they need to make sure that they tell the person that they're going to be going to the party. This next one, we have some dinosaurs. So it says two, and it lets you fill in who it is to. It says, please come to my party. It gives you a time for the place, a date, the time, and who it's from. And it also has an RSVP to tell you what or for when you have to let them know if you're going or not. And the last one, friends, is for a birthday party. So it has a space to write whose birthday party it is. It has a date, the time, the place, and again, the RSVP or when they need to know if they're going or not. So friends, those are some commercial invitations that might look a little bit different than my invitation or Peter's invitation, but both of them still mean a lot because you're still inviting them to a special occasion that you want them to be at. So party invitations can look different depending on if they were store-bought or if they were pl on plain paper. So Miss Tony is going to talk to you a little bit more about decorations and about how you can decorate your house for this party. Hello, all my Jumpstart friends. So we just read the amazing book called A Letter to Amy by Ezra Jack Keats from Miss Daniela. Thank you, Miss Daniela, for reading that book for us. So today, in our Let's Find Out About It discussion, we're gonna talk about parties. And we know in our book that Peter had a birthday party and he invited his special friend, Amy. So what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about all the different parts of the birthday party. So I know one of everybody's favorite part of the birthday party is cake. So cake, you're going to have a birthday party, you're going to have some cake, eat some treats, and have a great time. 
Another thing that everybody loves at birthday parties is balloons. So in the balloons, there's all fun, bright colors like red, green, blue, yellow, orange. So many amazing colors and they just make everything more festive, more happy. And then also we get a happy birthday sign. So in the happy birthday sign it says happy birthday and we put it on the wall and it's really great to look at. So today we are going to be making our own invitations for our party. So I have one that says it's my party on my invitation. Now you can do this with a piece of paper at home and some crowns in color and decorate this yourself. So on my party I'm going to put two. So who am I going to invite to my party? You guys can fill that part in of who you're going to send this to. So what this occasion is for. So what this party is for, it's going to be for a birthday. So we're going to pretend it's our birthday. So on this four, we're going to put birthday party. So all of our friends, we're going to put a birthday party. For when is the time that we're going to have the party. So we need to all come up together with a time that suits all of us so we can have our party. So think about that, friends, and then put that here on the when. And then the where, it's anywhere in the world you would want to have a birthday party so we're gonna put where we want to have our birthday party on this line and then we're gonna seal up our invitation and pretend to mail it just like Peter did in his birthday party in our book so friends that is all for Miss Tony today I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time bye jumpstart friends okay jumpstart friends so getting back together, I know we just talked a little bit more with Miss Tony about decorations. So she talked about decorations that will happen at a birthday party or any sort of party that you can include and have. So now we've talked about how to decorate a, an invitation, but also how to decorate a party. So friends, on my very own invitation, I know that our time was 2 o'clock. So the time that we are going to have our jumpstart party is going to be at 2 o'clock, friends. So I know that even though I wrote it with a 2, zero, zero, it can also be seen on a clock face or a clock that might be hanging up in the classroom. So to get what 2 o'clock looks like on a clock. So I'm going to draw one. I'm going to first start with drawing a big circle. A big circle and then we're going to number our clock now so we'll start with 12 at the top we'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so friends I'm going to draw it a dot in the center to show where the, our clock hands are going to go from. So this is how we draw a clock. We have a big circle and we number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, all the way to twelve. So friends, I'm going to write our time of our party right down here so we can reference it if we need to. So we have a two o'clock party. Okay, so our party starts at 2 o'clock, so that means that our shorthand or our hour hand is going to have to go to face 2. So we're going to take our shorthand and we're going to draw a shorthand pointing up to 2. So we can see that the shorthand is pointing directly to the 2 in the arrow. Then friends, we are going to take our minute hand or the long hand, and we're gonna put it all the way up to 12. So we're gonna put it all the way up to 12. So we have our short hand, or our hour hand, pointing to two, which we know because our first number is two, this is the hour. And then the zero, zero is our minutes. So these are our minutes, and that shows that we need, that we need zero minutes, which goes all the way up to 12. So friends, when we are watching a real clock go, go around, the minute hand, which is the long hand, has to go all the way around the clock for it to be one hour. 
So then the hour hand or the short hand will change number. So in order for our party, let's say our party starts at two o'clock and ends at three o'clock. So that is just one more hour. Our minute hand is gonna have to go all the way around the clock before our hour hand will change to be a three. So friends, I know clocks are a lot of fun. So we have two o'clock. We can see that our hour hand is pointing to two and our minute hand is pointing to 12, which means zero. So friends, that is it. We are going to be done talking today for our clock, but friends, I hope that you had so much fun talking about clocks, learning about decorations, and learning about invitations with me and Miss Tony.